Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sankovic. Today we're going to talk about footwear uh, that I'm using now for hunting. Things have changed for me being down in Georgia, but I still do a lot of the Midwest trips. So we got some new stuff that we're going to be talking about here. Um, first of all, for my Midwestern hunts, my which I'll be spending basically all of November, last week of October through the first three weeks of November in other states, uh, Midwestern states hunting, we have my tried and true Keen Pittsburgh Soft Toes. They've been around forever. I've done like four videos on them. They are an incredible boot, non-insulated, very waterproof. They hold up incredibly well. These are about three years old, very durable boots, very good quality boots. Um, as you can see, they're kind of, you know, been chewed up a little bit from tree steps and things like that, but just a fantastic boot. Uh, but those are the Keen Pittsburgh Soft Toes. We also have the Keen Revell 3s. Now they have the 4s out now too, which are similar, actually better. Um, but these are the Keen Revell 3s, so they're a 200 gram thin slit version of that boot. Nice, lightweight, good, uh, you know, cooler temperature type boot. Fantastic. I wore them this year uh, in uh, one of my out of state trips and I love them. They've been fantastic. And uh, I also have these, which unfortunately you cannot get, so I will not put a link to them below, but the coveted Keen Summit, Con Summit Country um, boots. These are Summit Country 2 or County 2 or whatever they call them. Um, but these were ones that I've been recommending for years. Uh, this is my third pair. I've actually never worn these. I just took them out of the box to show you. Um, but these will be my cold weather boots for this year for Midwestern out-of-state hunts. Um, but just an incredible boot. Uh, 300, and it's... It was nice because they did 350 grams of th th thin slit insulation in the toes. 200 and the rest of the body. This boot design was the best they ever made. I don't know why they stopped making it, but they replaced it with the Revell 2 or the Revell 4 Polar, which is similar to these in a higher version, but they're they're similar, okay? But that's your closest option you can get now. But I do have these, which like I said, that's the reason I, I do this stuff when it comes to buying them. Um, I knew these were being discontinued. I knew they were going out of stock, so I bought two more pairs after my first pair, and I wore out my second pair um, and just threw them out when I moved down here they were so beat up and this is my last pair of them which like I said I'm basically going to save for those midwestern colder weather hunts I don't need them here in Georgia at all I don't need these here in Georgia at all I actually don't even need these here in Georgia at all in Georgia my whole world is snake boots period non-stop year round there is no off season for them and uh, we have a couple versions uh, these I bought this year and have been wearing like crazy. These are the Rockies, and this model number is the, uh, f this is the 1570, okay? And what I like about that is there is no interior zippers on them, okay? You can get them where they got a zip up on them too, plus the lace. I didn't want the zipper ones, okay? So these ones here, which I will link down below for you, are the ones that are the non-zip version. These things are ultra light very cool in temperature wise and they are awesome snake boots and what's nice i like about them too is that they are a full 16 inches all the way around which is a nice feature whereas my favorite snake boots ever made these are actually my wife's because mine are in my truck right now but these lacrosse 4x ones they have this little gap back here for adjustment, but that's not snake proof right there. Now that's pretty snake resistant, but technically if you got struck on the back, you could actually get fangs through this and could actually take a hit on the back of that boot um, back there. And it drops down pretty low. It's the one downside to these, but these are 100% uh, snake proof type boot as well too. These are lacrosse 4X Burleys uh, or 4X Alpha. Very, very comfortable for a lot of miles. Again, this is my wife's, um, but these boots are phenomenal. I have got, I can't tell you how many miles I've put on these, and I like them so much. I have a pair in my truck still right now, and I also have two more pairs of them right here um, that, uh, that I've not ever worn yet. I haven't even opened. This one I think I did open maybe to look and check, but um, I buy them when they're on sale. So, uh, and then I do put in them Dr. Scholl's uh, gel sole insoles. Those are what I'm putting inside of those because uh, you do walk so many miles. But here's, uh, you know, never been worn yet, but here's another pair of them right there. Um, but I, so I technically have three pairs. One that was new last year and two new pairs that have never been worn. 
and again I buy them when I find them on sale so I'm getting good deals on them I'm, I'm paying I paid I think hundred and ten bucks for one set and hundred and twenty bucks for the other set uh, where a lot of times they can be you know hundred ninety something like that so we find them when they're on sale and I buy them and I, like I said I wear them so much down here that I got my pair in the truck and two new pairs right here so they're very handy the other thing uh, that is going to be incredible this year that I wore twice last year. These are wiggies. Okay, these things are unbelievable for here in Georgia. So what we have here weighs nothing. Okay, they weigh nothing. And this is a over your boot, rubber bottomed, over your boot for creek crossings, hip boot that you put on that will get you and it locks right to your belt quick simple and easy drawstring top but these are a hundred percent waterproof these are not like the cheap Hodgman ones that are you know you're gonna wear out in no time these are wiggies um, I, I want to say they were about 85 bucks you'd have to check but these are awesome these things are straight up incredible right over top of your boot just take your whole foot stick it right inside of this thing um, just like this again right over your boot and then just take this buckle right here and feed it right through your belt just like this and then hit the drawstring top and you are now ready to cross any creeks that you want to and you have a perfect full size um, hip boot that's good then when you get on the other side pop the buckle right there like that pull it right out of your belt reconnect it just so it doesn't get away from you and then take this right off and you can then take them and fold them right up and put them right back into your um, kit here just like this so you just fold them up they are waterproof they are pretty dang indestructible like i said i've used it a few times here now i'm not dealing with a ton of sharp miserable rocks here so you know but uh, uh people have told me about how they use them in alaska things like that and you know and they work fantastic but then you just stick them right back in your bag right like this and you can put this right in your pack and they take up no space whatsoever so when you got to cross these creeks in many places or here it's a lot of uh it's a lot of canals and cuts you know just nature's designed for these sloughs that come off of the rivers and things like that well they can be pretty nasty to try and get across and uh, they can be too deep for regular boots so i have these right here they are right in my pack all winter long usually here uh it's about you know right around christmas when everything starts filling up and the water levels get high this allows me to throw these in my pack it works absolutely fantastic so that's kind of a little footwear highlight thing for you and uh, shows you what i'm using and how things work and uh, what i'll be wearing in the woods this year but these here the reason i have both snake boots um one of the particular properties i hunt is high ground briars and miserable and just uh, a lot of brambles to go through and uh, crap that you're walking in where with a rubber snake boot like this they take quite a beating um, not that they don't hold up and handle it but they can take quite a beating where with these ones they're a little more uh being cordura they're a little more abrasion resistant and come some of that kind of stuff so um, i'm very happy with both of them Keep in mind with snake boots though, they, you know, they're not 100% and there's always that risk too that you can get struck above there. Uh, most of your cotton mouths and your uh, uh, copperheads and your things like that, they're not going to get above this. But some of the rattlesnakes, they, they have the length and the size to be able to reach above this and still hit you. So they're not foolproof, but they sure do give you peace of mind and uh, help keep you safe when you're moving through that stuff. But that's my footwear setup for that I, I will use for all of my hunting now. You know, my Midwestern stuff right here and my georgia stuff right there so there you go little tip for you maybe you pick something up out of it i will have links to this stuff down below for you but uh, i have done in these i want to say i'm probably about 300 miles now as far as walking in this this particular boot again this is my wife's but in mine but about 300 miles walked in swamps in these things and they're incredible best snake boot i've ever owned that's why i owned one two and the ones in my truck for three pairs um, I will never not own these as long as they make them. I won't even look at any other ones as far as rubber. The beauty of them too is these are 100% waterproof all the way to the top. These will not let one drop of water in. They are fantastic. Where these 
these are good for running across the creek real quick and I'll stay pretty dry during that but uh, you start walking through water with these you're gonna get wet there's no doubt about it you can't beat it so they're the only full waterproof boot is a rubber boot don't let anybody tell you otherwise um, so but again for that one area I have that WMA that's mostly high country um, these are fantastic for that that's why I have both sets um, and I wore these all the whole time when I was on one of my Midwestern state hunts this year because it was extremely hot, 80 degree temperatures, and there was massive amounts of snakes there too. These were nice to have on for that peace of mind. Uh, I don't have to take my time and watch everywhere I go and step through there this way when I'm walking through those briars and through that thick stuff. I can just, you know, cook right through there pretty good without being quite so concerned. That's the beauty of snake boots. Um, it gives you that flexibility. People aren't afraid of snakes. Snakes are not scary. They're not something to be afraid of. But what is to be afraid afraid of is that if you're bit by one then you may you're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars of medical bills you're going to be in a hospital for a week you're going to be laid up for another week so it's two weeks off of work a hundred grand in bills and ruining your trip that's why we wear these not because snakes are scarier because they're going to be a danger to you or anything like that plus not to mention the muscle damage and all the other things that can happen but it is the fact that these can save your hunt from being ruined save your bank account from being emptied and save you from losing a lot of time that's the advantage to these you know just in case you have happen to you know step on one and you don't see it and he turns and nails you this is that benefit to them so i'm a big fan of them i wear them all year long um i just seen uh my first timber rattler literally a week ago on a 68 degree day at the end of november after thanksgiving and uh which is you know when they shouldn't be out that much but there it was and uh you know five foot long timber rattler and having snake boots on is, is definitely a thing you should be doing so um if you're in that kind of country that's my footwear options those are the things the only other one which rides in my trailer when i go and i take my trailer is my lacrosse trapper model hip boots and i've done reviews on that a few years ago but if you're buying a hip boot those ones are incredible too so uh but these these wiggies these are my new world down here. These are gold down here. Uh, last year before I bought these, I was using compactor trash bags and they worked okay because usually I only got to cover a, a 10 yard wide cross of water. It's 10 yards across, but it can be, you know, that deep and it's just tough to get across with, with these boots. So rather than having to take them off, take my pants off and walk through their barefoot, put everything on on the other side, um, it's nice to be able to use something like this. The compactor bags worked okay. Um, these, these are incredible. These wiggies are awesome. And again, I will put links to all this stuff below for you. Thanks for watching.